this is Tiffany and I'm from the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Design Team and I have this cute mixed media embroidery hoop project to share with you for Simon Says Stamp Stamp Timber. Let's begin! For this Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Stamp Timber tutorial, I'll be using a wide array of products including the Stamper's Big Brush Pens, and the gelatos. Um, in addition, the premium water brush and the collapsible water cup. And then some new lawn fawn goodies, the stitched leaves. I'll be using this large maple leaf. Wood grain backdrops and Milo's ABCs, which is probably my favorite alphabet from lawn fawn so far. I'll also use a heat gun just to make the drying faster. A little palette some canvas, and then this really cute, sort of kitschy embroidery hoop. So I've gone ahead and die cut some watercolor paper to get my maple leaf. Of course you can use heavyweight cardstock if you don't have watercolor paper. And then I have my palette, and I'm taking these four colors, they seem to work best for the fall look, and I'm just going to color some of them down into the palette. Now to get this sort of um, layered or marbled look on the leaf, I have it in two stages. The first stage is just laying down some red, orange, yellow, and green. And then the second stage is to do some splatter. So starting with the red. There you go. And now you can do your paint splatter. You can use a stipple brush or you can use this fine paint brush. And now you have a really cool sort of abstract watercolor maple leaf. So now we're going to do our stamping because it is a stamp timber project and I'm keeping the stamping very simple. I'm using this dark chrome yellow on the wood green backdrop. The Stamper's Big Brush pens work beautifully on clear and rubber stamps. And then I have my sentiment, I love fall and I'm going to stamp that in nougat. And going back to the watercolor, the gelato washes that I made, I'm just going to paint and splatter a little bit on this background. And the reason why I use the Stamper's Big Brush Pen for the background is because once this ink is dry, it's permanent, so it won't fade or get muddled or water down when I do my splatters and painting with the gelato's wash. And now it's ready to go on the embroidery hoop. So once you have it all straightened out, just take some sharp scissors and cut around the back. I'm going to use a Dodds 3D. And there you go. If you want to, you can add some sequins 
to add just some flair to the canvas. And so I'm going to use my small dots and just cut them into quarters. And they make the perfect adhesive for sequins. And there you go. Again, this was Tiffany from the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Design Team here to show you a project for Simon Says Stamps Stamp Timber. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh.